Walker. Jenna from HawkerCultureManus.com. Right on. Delaware. Cool. Um, so, from Alabama. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. Coastal, coastal place. Water, you know, rivers, ocean, bay, all that good stuff. That's where I'm from originally, yeah. Alright. Um, so, how do you juggle me with your father? Yeah, three kids, four-year-old daughter, two-year-old son, and a ten-month-old son. Circus. Our house is a circus. So, how do you juggle being a father, a husband, and a country music artist? Oh, I really just do the best I can. Uh, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a great juggler at it right now. The Country Throwdown is kind of my first tour experience, so I am definitely don't have it mastered yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, it's really hard, you know, to leave them and come do this, but fortunately we have had three or four days on, two or three off, so it's kind of worked out. It's been okay. Um, I have a long stretch from here on out, but you know, this is a this is a learning experience for me and my family. I mean, they've come out for a show or two, and uh, it was a little bit stressful just mixing family and work together. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna get it licked, and hopefully one day I'll be such a star <laughs> that I can just have them out, you know, and just and bring them on the on the bus. So, yeah, so we're learning. We're getting there. So, who are you most excited to see on the Country Throwdown tour? Do I like to say is on with me? Yeah. Uh, I'd say Eric Church. I mean, I just know, he, you know, the, the fans that come to these shows dig that guy. And uh, he just, you know, they just love him. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's kind of my, if I if I drop a name, that's the one I drop, you know, I'm on tour with Eric Church. But, uh, you know, Jamie Johnson, too. He's like ridiculous live, love his show, love his songs, uh, and then Montgomery Gentry, those, those three, but I mean, who's there not to draw, I mean, John Singleton, Little Big Town, holy cow, Jack Ingram, I mean, everybody, everybody is amazing, and to tell you the truth, sadly, I didn't know how good all these people were, but I watch them day in and day out, and I never get sick of them, so. Is there a dream artist that you would like to share a stage with one day? You know, I have to be, I have to be honest and say I'm such an attention hog <laughs> that I, I don't want to share it with anybody. No, you know what? I, w I would love to, you know, like, like if Garth wasn't country, I would do a crossroads with him. But okay. you know, I don't know. Maybe our music is different enough where I, where I could finagle that. But I'm a huge Garth fan. Uh, and then there's just so many. I mean, my, my musical influences are so vast and different. Um, but yeah, Garth. I, I, I wouldn't mind getting up with Garth one day. Give me a checkered shirt, cowboy hat. <laughs> is there a certain theme to your music? You know what? My my theme, the theme to my record, which was not intentional, but it's obvious after looking at the compilation of all the songs I had written prior to my album. The common theme is making love. I've got you know I've got a song called Let's Get say, Naked. You, sir? <laughs> I've got a song called Pants. That's like she can wear the pants as long as I can take them off her. I've got a song called. Uh, I want to kiss my best friend's fiance. And so like it's it was such it's kind of accidental. It's like I finished my album and then I listened to it and I was like, wow, it's a whole lot of love making going on on this album. So that's kind of you know that's kind of the theme. But it's you know it's just it's just upbeat. I don't write a lot of sad songs. I don't have a lot to be sad about right now. And it's just a real happy, upbeat, youthful. Fresh, fun album. That's good. I wrote them all. Yeah, I wrote them or, or co-wrote them all. So, got a couple by myself, and uh, the rest I wrote with some great writers in Nashville. You know, what? I think that's what people need to hear now. We all need something upbeat to listen yeah, to and yeah, positive yeah. instead of like everyone crying about yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And you know, I'm not. I don't know about you guys, but I want. You know, when I turn on the radio. I just don't, I don't like radio stoppers, even if they are great songs. So, you know, every once in a while I do want to hear that sad, heart-wrenching, you know, tug at your heartstrings song, but I, I, love, I love me a hit, you know, I love me an upbeat. Let's turn the radio up and, and forget about all this traffic and work, you know, so, so, yeah. Is anything else? 
maybe. <laughs> so what types of, I, I mean, you mentioned, you know, the make and love and, yeah. and that type. Are there anything else that influences you artistically? Like if you sit down to write a song, where does it start? I'll tell you what, my music is like, um, you ever heard of, you know who Bill Cosby is? You know, his humor is like, he says stuff about just everyday life yeah. and you're like, wow, that really is funny. I've never heard it in that perspective. I kind of feel like that's what my music is. It's real authentic. It's about the good and the bad, but there's always redemption in the end, you know. I feel like all my songs are positive, but a lot of them do touch on the real life, you know, troubles and marriages and relationships or um, just real stuff, you know, real, real life stuff. So I think that's a huge element in my writing that you hear. Like, Let's Get Naked is actually about knowing somebody good, bad, and ugly, like scars, tattoos, everything, baggage. It's not, it's not really a, hey, let's take our clothes off. Yeah. It's basically like, let's share each other's souls as, to, to, to their deepest depths. So. Great. So what's the best way for fans to stay up to date with you? Right now, I've got a website. It's walkerhaze.com. Um, I'm a Facebook freak, so Walker Hayes Facebook, I don't know, whatever that thing is, you type it. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, my single my single is called Wax Paper Cups. It's about drinking Icy's at the, on the, uh, by the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, it is coming out June 28th. Great. So, uh, on iTunes. So you can buy it on iTunes June 28th, and then it'll hit radio July 28th. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for thank talking you. to us. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>